Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, 30th of March, 2019. And I'm enjoying my little walk down the village in Pontiets. And I love my walk so much. Well, to be honest, I cannot go swimming. I, I love swimming as well. But because I've had this heart trouble now, I'm not able to go swimming. But I can go for little walks. I say little walks. I'm on this path now, on the car wayside of Ponyets. And it's about, well, it goes all the way to Kidwili, but I've walked now about a quarter of a mile. And that's my limit. I'm getting tired now. But I got my walking stick with me. Hold me up when I walk. And I got to do this video because it's such a beautiful walk. And I don't know if you can hear the birds singing in the background. Because, you know, to me, since I've had this heart trouble, life is different to me you now. I appreciate everything now. As before, I used to take everything for granted. And I'm 70 this year in September. And uh, when I got to 65, I was super fit at the age of 65, I was able to go swimming and I was taking my grandson swimming then because he was younger, he's 15 now, he doesn't want to know now and uh, he was swimming then for Armourford and uh, Armourford Leisure Centre and he was a good swimmer, he was meeting boys from Tenby, Pembroke, everything you know and I used to take him so I to come out there in the and I used to take him around town. I, at the age of 65, I was super fit. But then, 66, I had this heart problem. It just cropped up like that. On a walk one day, and the next thing, I was collapsing, you know. I didn't know what was the matter. And I went to see the doctor. Well, fortunately, it was a Tuesday morning. I wasn't far from the surgery. And uh, I was diagnosed with irregular heartbeat. But not the slow one, there's two types of irregular heartbeats, there's slow and fast, you see. The slow ones, they, they get a pacemaker, but mine is too fast, so a pacemaker wouldn't suit me at all. So I push myself now to go for walks, even though I get very tired then afterwards. And for about an hour or two then, I just got to rest and can't do much. But I was watching the news this morning and this man was on here, 111 years of age, the oldest man in Britain. And he was saying uh, what's kept him going was walking and simply that he, he just wanted to keep on living, you know. Because I worked in the mines and there's so many miners gone now, who I knew, a lot younger than me, you know. So, to me, doing this walk now is out of this world, you know. But I am getting tired now because sometimes I can do half a mile or sometimes a mile. It all depends how I feel, you know. But it's the uh, best exercise you can do for your heart. But when I can't get over it, you know, Ponyats, it's a big village. Loads of people live in here. And uh, I love a chat in the morning when I go down the village for my walk and there's nobody walking here. But I talk to people in the village before I come for my walk here yeah, because I hardly see anybody walk on this path. And yet years ago, like, when the railway line was here, everybody was walking and you had the birds behind, you, you had the lapwings, curlew, skylax, they've all gone now. Yeah, I just love walking. Although it's Saturday today, normally I'm up in Armourford with my daughter and grandson and I go for walks there and I sometimes stay the weekend there because I got my own bedroom in Armford uh, with a daughter because she got a big four bedroom house and uh, I love Armford but I wouldn't live there I just love going there, going there for for weekends and look at the view here look you know oh this is lovely even holding this mobile up now it's getting tired for me well it is my, my regular heartbeat not pumping the blood around my body like it should, you see. So 
so I get tired, especially when I hold my hand up. So I'll change my hands out, put my walking stick down here. Change my hands. It's the same sometimes that if I'm on the phone to somebody, I'm holding the phone up with the left hand, I've got to change around the right hand. Because it gets tired because um, not, not all the time, but you know, most of the time it it varies, you know. Uh, there are some times when I can do more and uh, I, I asked the doctor, I said, why uh, why am I feeling good sometimes and able to walk more and do more and other times I can hardly do anything. And the doctor said to me, well, my heart's got a mind of its own. There'll be days when it'll work fairly good, but never as good as it used to be, of course. Can't go swimming and things like that. But uh, there's days when it'll be good and I can take long walks and there's other days then when it'll be bad and uh, not able to do anything or go for walks. Well, not go for walks far anyway, because I try and push myself to little walks all the time. That's Nazareth Road over there, look. I had a good friend living over there. I could see his house from here. I know he's died about three years ago. He was a good old friend of mine. He played rugby for Chinech, the old Chinechi team. And he was also a good soccer player and he had dementia. How sad that is the way he went, you know. He died at the age of know, about 67 in the end. But the way he suffered was unbelievable. So I can't complain really to just be able to do this little walk. It means a lot to me. And uh, coming to the end of my walk now, so I better finish filming. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this video, I don't know, because I'm always doing videos of my walk. I just love filming. I do, well, if you look at my other videos, I've done loads of videos about walking and and sometimes I sing. I, I, I always sing on my walk, you see, but I won't sing now. I'm doing this video. Let's put my walking stick down here then. And put this off. I'm really getting tired now. But I'm going to have a good rest of for an hour or two. And then pop into Kamara then. I want to do more lessons and go to a few shops and go there. But again, you see, when I go into Kamara then, I'm limited to how far I can walk and what I can do, you know. But, like I say, there's a lot of friends of mine, younger than me, gone and even suffering, you know, and uh, I go and visit the friends who suffer, you know, and they're amazing, a lot of them can't even walk, you know. And they're around my age or younger, you know what I mean? So, you know, we've got to do what you can. Yeah, it's sad, you know, but uh, old age doesn't come easy. But you've got to make the most of it. And uh, appreciate now everything. Because I never did before, I took everything for granted. But there we are. Life goes on. Right then. <laughs>